We'll be talking about uh, an affordable and sustainable energy storage devices that we fully construct from local material biomass, agricultural residues from, from this. And this work is one of the FLEP programs that have been funded by the academy itself and in partnership with the Royal Society. So looking at uh, the current situation in terms of energy access in the continent Africa context I'm talking about and projecting into the future. And we could see that uh, natural gases is taking really in, in this sustainable scenario area where uh, Africa could be really uh, shifting from fossil fuel uh, as we know that they are really, really one of the ma major creating problem in the, in the continent. And to fully uh, use the renewable energy uh, to challenge the energy crisis that we are facing, we notice that there is a, one major problem, which is the intermittent that has linked it to this source, renewable sources. And we see that there is really an important green storage that has become a key technological challenge, but which is with technology. And as we know that all technology are built on material, we could think of also which type of material are we going to use? And the starting material is really important. That is why uh, when we're talking about uh, energy storage uh, devices to have, as I said earlier, energy into your pocket, we think about batteries and supercapacitors that has the main used one. And if you see these two devices are, are being uh, storing energy in different mechanism. The first one, what we call EDLC mechanism that use carbon-based material. And it has the advantage of uh, having a high power density, but we have a very low energy density. On the other hand, batteries are using a mechanism that's called set capacitors mechanism and, and are made of oxide, mainly and hydro metal oxide and conductor polymers. Uh, and it does have an advantage of having a very high energy density, but a very low in power density. So the idea is now to create a hybrid device that benefit from the performance of the battery and also the, that of the, the, the supercapacitors. So, and this, the answer is depending on the type of material that we could construct and how are we going to construct this material in an African context where the technology should be sustainable cheap and affordable at any, any time. So that in our laboratory, we have developed a green and energy saving method at low temperature that, uh, and we think that uh, this uh, method have built through the biodiversity that we have in the continent. And we think it is important to look at the local material residues in order to go through this process to go into green energy technologies. So what we do concretely in our laboratory is that uh, we do have in Senegal a very huge industry around peanut. I'm, I'm sure all of us, we use peanut here. We know what to do with the peanut, but at the end of the day, what are you doing with the shell itself? What you do with the shell? You throwing it away. You open the peanut, you eat the peanut, but you throw the the shell away. And this is happening also on with the banana peels, with all other agricultural residues. So this is, as we know, our economy in the continent is based on this agriculture. Now we must find a way of using this type of residues in order to go to, into high, high technologies. And that's what we have done through this process. We create, we fabricated what we call activated carbon that came purely from, from this, this peanut shell. So looking at the material characterization that we have here, uh, we see that from this Raman spectra, the, the DNG ratio that suggests the disordered structure of this material could be a benefit for electrochemical uh, 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 application. 
and looking at also the surface area of the obtained material. And this is a, a very sur high surface area. And what we have done, we have activated the material using different type of activating agent. And we could found that the best activating agent is KOH. And that's what the result. So what you have done, we, we look at the electrochemical performance of the electrode that we, that we construct uh, fully with this uh, activated uh, carbon derived from, from biomass. The CV is, is showing uh, an EDLC behavior, as I said earlier, it is a carbon-based material response. And after charging and discharging, so we could see that the material is, is really responding on the way that we, that we want it. And we construct a device uh, from this, uh, this, this electrode, a plus and a minus, and, and to see how could be the performance of the, of the, of the batteries. So we, if you look at the output of uh, the energy density, we end up at having 25.2 watt hour per kilogram, while our power density is 0 0.9, uh, or, or, or 900 watt per, uh, per kilogram. So comparing the results that we got from what is scanned over the literature, we are a little bit uh, up to what is happening into the literature when we use exactly this process, which is a really green and, 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 and new process that are, that are sustainable. And the performance, you could see that after 15,000 cycling, we still have to remain at our performance of 83%. 83%. So, we decide now to improve our energy density and our power density. What we do, we take the same process with the activated carbon, what we do, activated carbon that we obtain it. How, what we have done, we put melamine inside. Okay, before you tell me why you choose melamine, because I carry melamine wherever I go. You could see that on my skin, I love melamine. So uh, I think of melamine, that, that was just a joke. And to, to see exactly what could be the, 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 the nitrogen that are coming into that could increase our, our the response, our, our, our material. We have to look at the XPS. We could see the nitrogen is there. All the material are present. I'm not going to, into the details. But uh, the electrochemical performance showed as a good response, uh, EDLC, charging, discharging. And also, uh, if you construct the device using this uh, advanced uh, institute doping, what we have done, we, we jump from 33 up to 35, which is not really a good increase. Okay, what we have done, again, we tell ourselves, okay, let us find a strategy of increasing again this, this, this device. What we do, we take our activated carbon, okay, which is coming from the peanut shell. We add this time, instead of adding melamine, we add uh, sorry, sorry about that. What we have done, we add ammonium, ammonium molybdate. What does this mean? At the end of the day, what are we looking? We are looking to mix a carbon and an oxide, okay? To hybridize the material in, in order to give a composite that could be working at the same time add an EDLC material and add a supercapacitor capacitor material. And at the end of the day, what we have, the characterization is showing the presence of the carbon and the oxide uh, through this, this, this Raman. Then uh, it confirmed by the high resolution transmission electron microscopy and selected area electron diffraction to show that what exactly we have, our aim is there. We have money to give this MOO2 and MO2CO2C2. So we looked at the XPS, which uh, give us uh, also the confirmation of exactly what you wanted to have. Now, electrochemical performance have the response still an EDLC response, even if we have an oxide inside that could give on so the capacitor response. Then uh, what you have done, we construct, uh, we push a little bit in terms of uh, this, the best one, you could have an, 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 an energy around one, 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 nine, 118. Then one pushing, what we have done, this device that we construct from, from the obtained electrode, a positive and a negative. So you could see that we jump from 35 up to 51.8 watt hour per drop and a, a power density of 0 0.9 kilowatts. So we're still not happy, 
what we have done, we said to ourselves, okay, let us now leave the device, the, the negative electrode as an activated carbon. But let us change the positive electrode. What we do, we change the biomass. We start working what on the second biomass that is really present in Senegal, what we call hibiscus subdarifa. We have three types of them, a white one, and we have a red, a reddish one, and a dark reddish, reddish one. And what we have, we take the powder of this hibiscus, we put it into water. So without adding any dangerous chemicals. So this experiment could be conducted inside your salon if you want, because it's, it's safe. At the end of the day, what you have obtained is this type of material where we have a one stop, one spot synthesis where we could be able to have V2O5 and the carbon inside. So chemists, will ask me what are you extracting? My answer will be, I don't know, but it worked. So we push, this is exactly the, when we analyze the biomass, the chemical present that are, that are inside there, then mapping the, the, the obtained material is a very, very nice uh, element distribution inside uh, our, 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 our material. So doing the characterization of the, of this composite, we could see that we, with the white one, we were not able to, to really uh, see the carbon, even the reddish one, but the dark reddish one, we were able to see a signature coming out of, out of carbon, which confirmed that we have a composite of oxide and, and carbon, but it could show that the carbon is not that really uh, a huge amount. Then we, we look at, the, the, the electrochemical uh, results, we could see we start having an EDLC and also a response uh, as an the capacitors due to this oxidation and uh, reduction, reduction peaks. So we have done the charge discharge or, or, uh, from the different type of uh, biomass sources. This is the the, the, the white one, the reddish one, and the dark reddish one. You could find that the dark reddish one is, is the best one. And we, the conclusion should be because of the presence of the carbon that it could be maybe the, 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 the best one. It is an answer that we, 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 we can take off. Uh, Jira, I think this is one of the things that we could lay, really look at in the future to see an institute to see if we, what will be the, the behavior of the carbon inside this inside this material so looking at the uh, a device that we consider, i i, I rem remember that i told you that we, we are having the activated carbon that at the beginning as a negative electrode and this one we are using as a positive electron to construct our devices so looking at the, the the cv and also the charging discharging of of the device we could get an energy of almost 50 milli milliampere hours per per grams so Looking at the performance of the, of the device, uh, this is what we have in terms of energy density and in terms of power density. That compared to the one that we, we, we got previously, you will see that this one is a little bit slow, but the process to get uh, the, the, the device, is uh, uh, the electrode material is still not the same. This one is more green and it's more sustainable than, than using those expensive uh, 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 chemicals. So, we wanted to push better. We see that the carbon that we had is, was very low, what we have done. We said ourselves, let us add graphene inside to see if increasing the amount of carbon that we'll be having inside could maybe change the performance of the, of the device. That we have done, we add graphene, 20 milligram of graphene form, and then through the same uh, spot, we, that is the material that we have. And the signature of the oxide part, as well as the signature of the carbon are, are, are in there, especially in the Raman, it is really showing. Then uh, the mapping of the element through these electrodes is, is, is always very homogeneous. Then it has been confirmed by the, by the TM. So looking at the, the, the electrochemical results of this, of this device that Compared to the previous one here, the only thing that we have done is just adding milli, uh, 20 milligram of, 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 of graphene. 
And, and the best results that we could, as it is, is being obtained at this amount of graphene that we, we mass loading, sort of mass loading process. So we construct a device with our initial activated carbon from, from peanut shell and with this new uh, uh, ele material uh, positive electrode that have been obtained from the dark red dish of hibiscus subdarifa, then doing the cycling, this is what we have, and we end up by having an energy density of 55 watt hour per, per kilogram. Does that mean that maybe the activated uh, the carbon that we put inside there is playing a major role into the into the performance of this this device? This should be this should be looked at. Then I I. Uh, the, we, we look at the performance, you could see that after uh, 10,000 of cycling, we could have 90% uh, of, of, of performance still, still there. So I, would, I have a very nice Hollywood movie that I wanted you to watch. Then. Our aim of this laboratory is to develop different types of nanomaterials, for example, activated carbon, metal oxide, graphene, and hybrid nanomaterial. And for these different types of nanoparticles, we are using biomass was for the biosynthesis for supercapacitor and battery application. The preliminary results that we got in our laboratory has demonstrated that we can have this device in a short time in the market. This device that we construct from mechanism of batteries and supercapacitors will deliver a very high performance in terms of energy storage. That's why it is important and urgent for us to call into investment into this type of process. Because the process is green and is clean and it is renewable and it is sustainable. This will help for the developing world to have access to such type of green and ecological energy. I will end up by my job by acknowledging my team and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your attention.